So somehow at some point we should examine and it will be best I would uh, say if we could examine every night. How did I spend today? Did I live my life truthfully or did I give in to untruthfulness here and there? Did I live my life compulsively or did I live my life with a balanced and detached and disciplined attitude? Was I selfless today towards my fellow beings or I was just selfish and self-centered? And not only that, we should ask what were those things that I did today that made me extra happy and what are those things that I did today that makes me extra sad or sour? God within us is always telling us what suits us in the real sense of our growth and what ultimately backfires on us if we give in to these temptations or legends. So we can learn from our own experiences and we must learn and we can only learn when we have that kind of attitude. If we get too tired and then we and the end of the day we eat too much and then we give in to television unless we fall asleep then Life is spent without uh, we being able to learn anything. If we learn from our own daily experiences, soon we become detached or we become more disciplined or we, we become more focused. If you examine your life, why do you live the way you live? What you will find? Either you are living your life for the sake of greed or for the sake of image or for the sake of your attachment, three factors are more dominant. Greed, image and attachment. There could be fourth factor if we are lucky, for the sake of service, for the sake of helping others, our fellow beings. In whatever way, you could be serving through your office, someone could be serving by teaching, someone could be serving by giving a massage. If your life is meant to serve yourself, your fellow beings, your parents and children without being concerned anymore for greed, for image, for attachment, then you are living a truthful life. Even if you live an untruthful life, how do you live an untruthful life? You live an untruthful life because somehow you get a kick out of it. It is not that you are constantly miserable by leading an untruthful life. You make money, you project a certain image and others buy your image and you get a kick out of it. Ultimately, you suffer and you pay the price. But if we do not have that kind of foresightedness, we become victims of our own greed, of our own image, of our own such fantasies. Those of us who do not become victims, then they have more light available to question how long I am going to live and when I leave this body after 50 years or 20 years, would I be concerned about my children or grandchildren? Was I concerned about them when I was a little boy or a little girl myself. So somehow these kind of attachments and ideas become easy to handle. And then when you become more alert and detached from such uh, obligations or from such uh, beliefs about your dutifulness, then you question, my God. I have been hearing from that Swami or from reading from that scriptures that God is available everywhere, in all the places, at all times. How God is available here and now for me? What can I do? Then you will remember some, somebody told you that if God will be found by doing anything, that means God is a product of action. 
any action takes place in time. And since God is before the time, God transcends the time. God is already divine and God is already within you. So God must be already there that does not need any action that takes place in time. All actions are required in time for the sake of our body. This body will reach New York by driving so many hours. This body will have to be fed in so many places so that it could keep on driving. This is all required where there is this kind of physical time and space consideration. Since God is not bound to any time and space consideration, God is available all the time in all the places, in all circumstances. Then the question becomes, what can I do? And the best way to process this question is here and now, as I have been trying to share with you, ask yourself while I am talking to you. Even if you ignore my words, that's all right. Ask yourself, what are you doing here to be? You may think you have driven your car, you have spared your time to be here, but since you are already here, what are you doing? You are sitting, but how this sitting is taking place? What effort is required on your part for this sitting to take place? What effort is required on your place, on your part for this hearing to take place? What effort is required on your part for seeing of this form called Shantanan to take place. See, how you are naturally hearing, how you are naturally seeing, how you are naturally sitting. Just like that, all decisions that you have made so far, or you will make in future, are made for you through your memory bank, through your chitta. All the information is contained in your hard disk of chitta. And when any problem or any desire arises, automatically a shuffling takes place. In the same memory bank, in the same hard disk, where all information is stored, all values are stored, all impressions are stored. And right away you decide, oh, now I should be a vegetarian. Now I should not eat sugar because my doctor has told you are a diabetic. Or now I should not care anymore for money. Whatever is enough, enough for me, I would lead the most simple life. Whatever time is left for me, I should devote for remembering God and realizing God. If you decide this way, it is not that you do anything to decide this way. It is This decision comes automatically for you through your memory bank. You can do nothing about this memory bank. That is why you are a puppet. That is why I am a puppet. What I would speak, I cannot know. I know I would be speaking. Because God has granted me the power of speaking. God has given me the faith that I would have a few words, few ideas to, to be able to share with you. But there is no way that I could know in advance what will be my next thought. Then next thought. Same thing for you. Same thing it was true for Jesus, Moses, Krishna, Buddha, Einstein. The laws are universal. <coughs> If I don't know what would be my next thought, you also don't know. 